And once again, here we are, the Netraborn Gamers, doing a commentary on Sonic CD. A game I haven't even played, so I'm most likely going to be quiet during this entire time, other than bitching about how we didn't do a game that we all know. Well, played half the game. <laughs> well, maybe you should record your own stuff. Again, that requires money, something I don't have. I do remember when this game was on the old, old, like, Sega Genesis system. Man, that was the best time of my life. Actually, this was on the Sega CD, but hell, whatever. It's still part of the Sega Genesis, no matter what, because it was an add-on. Either way, it's Sega something. As long as it's Sega, I don't really give a shit. Uh, and the version I'm playing for the for the uh, commentary channel is uh, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 version that just came out last year um, in December, I think. This one was... Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, this one was... Um, like I was showing that you can also play as Tails. This one came I out... I killed if you picked Tails. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, they added I don't want to comment on the whole game. Of playing Tails. <laughs> nah... <laughs> I might, if I ever do a Let's Play of this for my own channel or something like that, I'll play as Tails, but for the commentary's sake, have it all about Sonic. But yeah, this just came out uh, in December of last year, and they t have one company, I can't remember, I think it's called Christian Whitehead, I think that's the ones who uh, made this port, uh, gave this game a whole new engine and everything to make it better, because the original Sonic CD for the Sega CD had a lot of collision detection and had a lot of finicky bug issues and this one's a better port of it which made me enjoy the game a whole lot better the frame rate is better you know no wonky collision detection so yeah the only thing i have to complain about this is that uh, actually the cartoon we're actually watching right now i have to edit the um opening song in here for the japanese soundtrack if you don't if you just play it regularly it's just the it's just an instrumental version of the song I don't know, I think the instrumental versions sound uh, pretty good. It sounds alright, but I don't know, it's just that I've, like, out of all the classic Sonic um, soundtracks, Sonic CD, the Japanese soundtrack, is like my all-time favorite, so I just had to put this song in here. I did the same thing, too, for the ending song, because, well, the ending song, uh, uh, Believe in Yourself, it got the same treatment, too, only an instrumental version. I don't get it, because, you know, doesn't Sega own the songs? What, are they afraid of copyrighting their own shit? That's why no, it's just that they don't really, probably don't really care for it anymore. They want it instrumental because it's probably a waste of time and money just to redo it for the Xbox version. Redo it? All they just need to do is just take the old, old audio clip like I did and just place it over. That only take a couple seconds. They just got fucking lazy. Well, That's what they did. Well, it could also be the fact that the stars who did it also own a portion of the song itself, so, and they and they couldn't get the stars' permission to reuse it again. Yeah, I can understand that. But so it's sort of like copywritten or something, basically singer's thing. Yeah, but just I don't understand it because Sega's the one one who publishes games, so they own more of anything, and it, they just got lazy. That's that's my final conclusion. They just got lazy. But you know what? It's just a minor nitpick. This game is still fun. It's a classic. And why did I choose Sonic CD to have all the classics? You know what? I have no idea. Because <laughs> we pretty much grew up with Sonic as a cartoon and as a video game character. Well, no, it's just that out of all the classic Sonic games I could do, I could have done Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, or 3 and Knuckles, but I decided to do CD. I guess three I just. Knuckles. Oh, I love that game. I guess just Sorry. because I, oh, I love that game too, Chris. <laughs> I guess it's because I just wanted to get Sonic CD out of the way, and besides, I was kind of in the mood at the time when I was recording this to play some Sonic CD. That's why I guess I decided to record it for the uh, commentary channel. The whole it's unique. Yeah, Sonic CD. For those who haven't played Sonic CD before, which is probably a very small amount because. Usually when I talk about old classic Sonic games, I usually talk about one or two, and that enemy hit me somehow. I don't know how he did it. But, you know, um, how what makes Sonic CD different and makes it stand out from all the rest is that the whole the whole basis of this game is that you are trying, you're on this uh, 
area called Little Planet. <laughs> I didn't call it Little Big Planet, thank god. <laughs> I fucking hate that game that game now for giving me mixed up for that, but... What you are is that you're on uh, Little Planet, and apparently this planet has been um, taken over by um, Robotnik. And what you have to do to save this um, world is that you need to travel back to the... There, well, there's actually two ways that you can... Um, well, this, this so is this so is this basically this that upgrade ver uh, the downgrade version of that one where you get the alien powers and all that downgrade version uh, in Sonic Generations the, you know those powers become different things or whatever uh, are you talking about Sonic are you talking about Sonic Colors probably oh Sonic Colors with the, with the little aliens yeah that's Sonic Colors well Sonic Colors <laughs> is completely different from this game. This game um, is one of the games that do some time travel, unlike another game we know that we're probably eventually going to get, and I'm going to tear it a new asshole, but... Which hey, one? Oh, you know what it is. Sonic Generations? No. I love that game. <laughs> mm, time travel, time travel. Nope, nothing rings a bell. Oh, you know what it is. But anyway, as I was saying, Sonic CD is different from the rest because this one instead of just going through stage to stage and just you know getting to the final boss this game actually adds an exploration factor to the concept and you have to actually go you have to actually create a good future for a little planet and how do you do this two ways you can you'll find all these uh post signs that say future and past and what you have to do is that you have to touch the past sign and go and gain enough speed and keep running at that same speed in order to travel back to the past. And when you're in the past, you're supposed to find these robot generators. And when you destroy them, you create a good future. You have to do it for both both Act 1 and Act 2 of each zone. And then when Act 3 comes, you get a good future. Then you fight the boss. And then rinse and repeat. But if you don't want to do that, there's also that if you collect 50 rings. And when you go to the goal post, there'll be this giant ring that will appear and you jump through it and it'll take you to the special stage. We'll be seeing the special stage because I tried to do the, um, I tried to get all the robot generators, but uh, I kind of messed up on Collision Chaos, which will be the next zone we'll be going to. So I just decided to get all the time stones instead. Yay. So yeah, in this game, there's no Chaos Emeralds. There's just time stones. All right, I'm still trying to think of that time travel thing. Do you me too. Do you really want me to say it? Um, I don't know. I really don't know what game you're talking about. I genuinely don't know. Do you guys just want me to tell you? Sure. Yes. Sonic 06. Oh. I thought I had a feeling. <laughs> I never played the game, though, so, you know. Oh, you've touched have, it. Not right. <laughs> It's okay. I it. It's just I the, did the first what level. What Ethan's <laughs> like about it is the gameplay and the fact that there's furry love. Furry love. That's just you're just That's only not the only man. dude. You're only scraping the surface of the shit. That's what you're doing. You're only scraping the surface of it. Hey, it, there's a what lot. Do you care at the end more solid yeah, shit in there. Nothing, none of that truly happened. Just Sonic ran by. And that was it. Yeah, what a waste of sixty dollars to the Sonic fans. I swear to God. Oh yeah. What about Mass Effect, huh? Waste of sixty fucking dollars for Mass Effect Three. Yep, I would agree with you that Bioware pretty much did the same thing to the fans. Banjo Kazooie did the same thing too. Yep. God, all these good gaming companies are just going down to shitter. But this is the uh, special stage I was talking about. One of the trippiest special stages in Sonic history. I swear first, to God. The first time, first time ever that Sonic goes into 3D, right? Yeah, this is the first time that ever Sonic was in uh, 3D. But just... The whole concept... And it's kind of wonky. <laughs> well, that's not really that wonky, really, because uh, if you play... Like I, I said... I always found it hard. If you play... Like I said, if you played the Sega CD version of this, the original Sega CD version, the frame rate here was just so bad. So yeah, the controls were very wonky, but Christian, the Christian Whitehead who um, created this port made the frame rate a whole lot better so the control feels a lot better but i can understand that it could the control can feel kind of finicky especially when you're turning but you just have to you know 
you have to know the stage and know how to abuse it in order to complete these stages, especially the later ones, because the later ones will get much more difficult. There'll be a lot more water and you can't touch the water because if you touch the water, uh, 10 seconds of your time will be shaved off. So you literally have to, you know, be careful. You have to really know the stage. I get all the time stones. Like I said, I was trying to go for all the robot generators, but the next zone I screw up. So I decided to just get all the time stones. The fuck did the time stones there again? Screwed up. The time stones, like I said, you're tr the whole ba the whole point of Sonic CD is that you're trying to create a good a good future for the little planet, the place you're at. If you can't get all the generators, then you can at least get the time stones. So when you get all seven time stones and do the final zone with the final boss, you still create a good future for a little planet here. A good future. What happens if I don't get any of those and at all? You have a bad future. And you have a bad future. Like where you have a bad future where Eggman pretty much, um, you know, you won. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. It's just that you know you can go for the good um, ending or the bad ending. Is your ch it's all about preference. Is your choice. But I just like going to good ending because it makes me feel better makes me feel happy about myself. Yeah, it makes it <laughs> makes me feel good. If every time I see the bad ending, I feel kind of a dick. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like you really beat the game. Yeah. It's like you beat the game. You beat the game, but you I don't know. It's like all Sonic games really have that. It's like you can beat the game, but you really didn't beat the game. You know what I mean? The kind of feeling, yeah. Well, this one <laughs> does. And uh, definitely but just well, because other ones, other ones with the chaos emeralds, like you can beat the game without all the chaos emeralds, but to get the real ending, like the real, the really beat it, you need all the chaos emeralds. Uh, well, for Sonic the well, Hedgehog, some of them, not all of them. For Sonic the Hedgehog one, all you get is just a scenery change in the final cutscene you see with Sonic, which just flowers appear. It's like ooh, flowers! What a fucking accomplishment. Um, for Sonic, all right, we basically just went through the entire game through one video. Yeah, of course, but I didn't talk about each zone yet, so... Hell, I even talked about the zone we're at right now, Palm Tree Panic, which pretty much is, uh... Just Green Hill Zone on crack. <laughs> That's exactly what I always thought. Instead of squares, there's triangles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what, uh... Palm Tree Panic is. It's just Green Hill Zone on crack. It's a nice starter stage. It has some nice speed sections and some nice exploration sections, and that's the robot generator that, um that uh, you go for. There's one of them in each area. There's also these uh, metal sonic uh, holograms that um, you can hit too. They're, they're, it's not necessary to hit them, but if you want to like free all the animals, and like I said, well, there it is right now. Um, well, if you want to free all the animals and you know get an achievement if you have the Xbox 360 version of this game or the PlayStation 3 port, um, you know, it's all for just trophy and achievement wise, but other than that, you just need to get the robot generators. And you did this. You did the PlayStation 3 version, right? No, I did the Xbox 360 version. Oh, you did. Oh, okay, then you. I remember you were playing the PlayStation 3 version. That's. I guess that you played it just to play the PlayStation 3 version. I guess. Yeah. Well, just I like the PlayStation 3 version only because you know the PlayStation 3 controller. I love the D-pad of the PlayStation 3. Yeah. So, I remember that after you recorded this, you played it again on the PlayStation 3, and beat yeah. it again, right? Yeah. But this one I'm doing on the Xbox 360 version. And yeah. I hate the D-pad on the Xbox 360. Me too. Me too. I mean, it doesn't work. Now, after it, it doesn't work for a game like this. Yeah. After getting my PS3, it was just like, oh my god, it's so much better than the D-pad. Yeah, that's... I mean, the PlayStation, the PlayStation... I mean, the Xbox controller has its plus pluses too, but... Oh, yeah. But that's definitely not in the D-pad uh, department. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. I am just surrounding and going to the goal. Damn UFOs. Oi, oi, oi. Jesus. Woo! Like I said, you gotta really know how to abuse the stage in order for you to win. Like, as you probably can see, there's two different types of UFOs. There are purple ones and then there are blue ones. Purple ones just give you more rings, while the blue ones uh, give you running shoes, which allow you to go faster on the stage, which you're going to need for the later stages, because some of them just... Their patterns are unpredictable. That's the one thing I don't like about Sonic CD Special Stages, that these UFO uh, patterns are so unpredictable 
I mean, once you get it down, that's good. But the problem is, is that sometimes they'll just move like sporadically. So you literally need those uh, running shoes in order for you to just catch up with the damn thing. One more, right? Yeah, yeah one just more. one more. Also, there's this uh, red and blue. One, one, yeah, this red and blue. Um, yeah, one more. Yeah. Well, uh, as I was, I was actually going into that. Um, if you're, if you have. If your time is 20 well, seconds, <laughs> yeah, I know. If your time is if your time is 20 seconds or uh, 20 seconds or below, this uh, red and blue um, UFO will appear, and if you hit it, it'll give you an extra boost in time. So you still so as long as you hit it, you know you'll get um, 20 seconds more time, or is it 30 seconds? I can't recollect the thought in my head, but yeah, it just gives you more time, so that way you'll you know have more time to hit that those UFOs you're missing. And this one is a pain in the ass because it goes over the water. Nice. I mean, look at this. Look, look at the position it's going in. It's like in a fucked up triangle. I swear. <laughs> and Jupiter's yep. in the background for some reason. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I mean, seriously, <laughs> like, what Jupiter. the fuck is wrong with all these special stages? I swear. Wait till we get to the later ones. Hey, look, there's Jupiter. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey look, there's Jupiter again. Huh. I mean, Jupiter. If you think Jupiter in the background is going to be weird, wait till we get to the later ones. It just gets weirder and weirder from there on out. And now here we are in Act 3, and I got the good future, so, you know, the music is a lot happier, the scenery looks a lot brighter. Yeah, the scenery and the music changes for when you go from um, past, uh, present, future. Good future and bad future. Oh yeah, it was a weird editing kick up. I don't know what happened there. Did you, did you pause the game there? Yeah, I kind of paused the game there and then you know tried to. And edit. you probably didn't you probably didn't slide the like put no, it together, I, right? No, I, I I saw it. I slid it there and everything, and well, that was a boss. <laughs> <laughs> it was only because I had invincibility, but yeah. Oh. Uh. But like, with every single stage, they have a pass. I have, have a different scenery in past, present, good future, and bad future, including the music. For some reason, the USA soundtrack of Sonic CD decided to change the good future and the bad future Japanese soundtracks, also the present um, music soundtracks as well. But they left the but they left the past soundtrack in. I don't understand why they did that, but I don't know. There's some Maybe they good forgot. I don't know, but there's some good things about the uh, USA soundtrack, and then there's some okay things about it. But to me, I prefer the Japanese soundtrack overall. Yeah, me too.